Okay, I'm recording. Hello, YouTube. This is Matthew. I am here to show you how to create an uh, editable website using Couch CMS. And uh, this is really cool. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking uh, this template. This is a HTML template. Um, you can just download it for free right here at this URL. I'll link it below. So we're going to take this template, we're going to put it on our web server locally, and we're going to make it editable using Couch. Now we're going to use very simple tags in this episode. We're going to have three tags that we're going to go over. Uh, it's going to be very simple, so you don't know how to, you don't you need to know anything about Couch uh, to get started here. So all you need is a uh, computer with a web server. Uh, application either you need to spin that up yourself if you know how to do that or you can download something like MAMP for Mac or XAMP uh, for Windows I think that I think Mac no I think MAMP I think they also have a Windows option too I prefer MAMP I use it on the Mac and um, you need to have a database so MAMP has a MySQL database uh, set up with it so you can make as many databases as you want so I just set up a blank database for this project and you'll need to have PHP on your computer which you'll have if you're using MAMP or XAMP okay so you don't need to know any PHP by the way um, this is intended for someone who only knows about HTML CSS maybe JavaScript you don't even need to know JavaScript, to be honest. Um, so you don't need to know any PHP because Couch has that covered for you. Uh, you are on the couch, as they would say. So uh, it's very easy. Um, they've got a lot of tags uh, that are very similar to HTML tags that will make it very easy for you to do some pretty advanced stuff without knowing any PHP. Um, so that is really, really cool. Uh, you can make simple sites with Couch. You can make simple sites editable, but you can also do really complex user authentication, registration, custom routes, REST APIs. Um, you, can, you can do a lot of stuff with Couch. Um, but we're going to start simple today uh, because... Um, that is what it is designed for, is, is helping people just get their static sites editable. So here we go. What you'll need is you'll need a blank uh, project folder. So I made a project here called Couch Project. And in it, I'm going to move a... Um, I downloaded this blog uh, template, so you can download this too. Um, I downloaded it to my desktop, so let me go ahead and copy that from the desktop. Uh, what is it called? Personal, yeah. And I'm going to put it into this folder. Okay, so that that is the that's it right there, you know. So you can download this, put it right there, and I'm actually going to move it. I'm going to move it here and I'm going to get rid of that folder. Okay, cool. So basically I just took all the files out and I put it out in the open. So this project folder, I have it running on MAMP. So you'll have to set all that stuff up. If you're not familiar, go look up MAMP or XAMP uh, or put this at your server root, uh, whatever you need to do there. Um, once you get it there, if I go to my server, which is MAMP, I'm using MAMP, and I go to my couch project, right? Now, these files weren't here a second ago. That's why it's saying forbidden. But if I refresh, uh, it's going to show me the, the blog. Excellent. Cool. Okay. And we're going to make this editable with couch. Here we go. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to download couch. So I'm going to do that in the command line. You can do it. You can go to couchcms.com and download the zip file and then 
extract that zip file in your couch in your um, in your project folder here you don't have to call it couch project you can name it whatever you want but what you're going to look for is a folder called couch and you're going to just put that folder right here inside of this folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, i'm going to clone we're going to go whoop github couch cms couch CMS, and that is going to download it to this project directory. And I'm going to, uh, there's a folder in here called couch, right? We don't really need this stuff right now. Um, you can read through that um, if you want. But all we need really is this couch folder. So I'm going to move that couch folder into the open here. And then I'm going to remove the big one. All right. So now we have couch ready to go. Now, if we reload this, you know, nothing has changed. Uh, we've just added couch over here onto the side. It's ready to be called. And so what we need to do, if we're going to take something and we're going to make it editable by couch, first thing we have to do is we have to rename this and take away that HTML and put in PHP. Because uh, what this is going to do is it's going to let Couch do its PHP thing. And uh, you're not going to have to worry about any of it, um, except for two lines of PHP. This is all you need to know after this. Uh, it's going to be a breeze. So uh, we're going to say require once. And then inside of that, we're going to pass in the argument Couch cms.php okay and so that goes at the top of the document and then and make sure you you copy it you know exactly like this you don't have to have the spaces here but you know question mark php require once make sure you have that semicolon i guess you don't really need that um maybe you do and then at the bottom you're going to do another PHP line, and what you're going to say is couch double uh, colon invoke. All right, so that's going to set you up. You're going to require couch at the top, and then you're going to invoke couch at the bottom. Okay, so let's save that, and this is going to be interesting. When we refresh the page, it's going to say, Oh, you forgot you need to hook up your uh, config.php file. So let's go back in here. That config.php file is going to be inside this couch folder. And you can see there isn't one here, right? So the site's getting confused. What we need to do is we need to copy the file, the, the file contents from here. We need to make a new file, couchconfig.php, and we're going to paste that right there. The reason they do that is because if you update couch, uh, they're going to overwrite this file instead of your file. So your database connection is not going to be overwritten, uh, which is excellent. So uh, you can set a lot of uh, parameters in here, like your time zone. I'm going to go ahead and change that to Eastern and uh, your database connections. So uh, if you're using MAMP or XAMP or whatever, go there and grab your database information. Here, um, I know mine, I set it up as sites couch, and my username is root, and this is also root. And that's the default for, for MAMP. Am I recording? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so um, now that you've set up your database connection, we're going to close this file. We'll close the example file. And now that the database connection is set up, next time we reload this page, it's going to ask us to install Couch and create a super admin account. Now, the super admin is really only designed for the developer of the site, like the Couch developer. Uh, that's you. And this account has a lot of privilege 
uh, to it. And so um, it's it's dangerous if it's not in the right hands. Okay, so make sure that uh, you are the only one who has access to this account. When you pass this site on, I don't work at Google. <laughs> I just use admin at Google. Uh, don't tell anyone there. Um, when you set up your super admin account, account um that's going to be uh you're going to have all of your uh template editing privileges assigned to that account so you need to be the one in control of that account and then we can set up a site owner um account later so when you pass this on to your client or a site owner or, or maybe that's you um then you can log in with that simple admin account afterward. But we'll, we'll do that later. So log in with your super admin account here, and you'll see this beautiful blank Couch CMS admin panel. And this is what Couch excels at, uh, is just being the simplest admin experience. Site owners love this, especially if they've come from something like WordPress uh, where they felt overwhelmed a lot of people, if they're not tech oriented, they they are afraid of the WordPress admin panel, and they'll um, they won't update their security patches and and all that kind of stuff like they should with WordPress. Um, you're not really going to have to worry about that here. You know, this is very simple. You know, it's only going to show what you make editable for the client. So let's get on to that. So we've downloaded this. I can go ahead and close that page. And I'm here at my project in the couch folder, right? This is my admin panel, so slash couch. That's where I go to get to the admin panel. I can go down here and click view site, and that's going to bring me back. Again, nothing has changed, right? We haven't done anything. All we've done is uh, connect it to couch but we haven't told Couch to do anything, right? So we can do that now. And I'm going to I'm going to change this to PH uh yeah, PHP. Yeah. Okay, yeah, syntax highlighting. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I'm going to say CMS template, right? This is our first tag. This is the template tag. What it's going to do is it's going to tell Couch, hey, we'd like to make this file, index.php, we'd like to make that a Couch template, you know, something that's going to show up in the admin panel and make we're going to make changes to it. So we can add a few attributes here. We'll say title. Um, we're going to call this the home page. And icon is going to be home. And these icons, these um, this this icon set is called Open Iconic. You can go look that up. Any of the names there under Open Iconic, um, you can use here. That's built right into Couch. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, now, if we go back, we need to refresh this page, and what that's going to do is it's going to tell Couch that we have new content. So we made this change. We're going to refresh, tell Couch that, hey, we've got new stuff. Go back over to our admin panel and refresh here, and you'll see now we have our home page. And it's got its little icon. But no editable fields yet, right? Because we haven't defined them yet. So let's go and find some editable fields to edit. Uh, we should probably make this editable, and, and the image and the tagline, right? Uh, we'll just do that for now in this episode. <laughs> okay. In next episode, right? We'll, we'll, we'll go through and we'll make like this kind of stuff editable. We'll make this editable, you know, right now it's not, not linking anywhere, but if we want to link this to like a, <clears throat> you know, like a document or something like a resume or a contact form, well, it says hire me. So we should probably, <laughs> probably go to a contact form, right? Um, well, and then maybe like in episode three or whatever, we'll look at making some of this stuff editable because we can also, you know, we were not limited to just like the homepage. These are posts. We can also make 
clonable posts that um, are dynamic, that we can manage multiple posts in the admin panel. So a lot of stuff that you would normally do with WordPress, um, you can do very, very simply here uh, with Couch. So let's go ahead and make, uh, let's start simple with just this header, right? This is gonna be the simplest thing to do. So we'll find that, we'll say Kate. I already searched for it earlier. Here we go. We're gonna change this. And uh, you know, like if you didn't have couch, you would come in here and you would change this to whatever, right? So let's name her couch. So that's changing there, that's good. Now we need to make an editable field for this. So we have another tag here, CMS editable, right? These are for what editable fields we wanna define. Um, we're gonna call this one, um, I guess name would be a good name. And we're gonna name it, we're gonna give it the label name. So this is just like with a an HTML form element, you're gonna have like your lowercase name, right? For the field, form field. And then you're gonna have like the capitalized one. You can have, uh, you know, spaces and capitalization there if you want. But you can't do that here. It has to be lowercase and underscore. And um, I don't think numbers are allowed either. It'll tell you if you mess up, um, so don't worry. So name, label, we need to say type. Type is gonna be text. So notice uh, down here uh, where the name is, right? That's just text inside of the tag, right? It's not like an image. It's not, you know, it's not a bunch of paragraph tags. It's just text. That's all it is. So that's all we're going to do here. And uh, that's it, really. So just your name of your field, the label that you want it to be named, and the type. And so we've made a change. So we have to come back here, refresh, go over to our admin panel and refresh. And there's our name. Really cool. All right. So I'm going to put my name and I'm going to save. Now, if I go back, nothing happens, right? That's just because all we've done is we've, we've said to Couch, hey, we want to make this editable field, but we haven't told Couch where to put it yet, right? So we can do that here. We can say CMS, and this is a new tag, show, right? So we're gonna show the name, right? Same name as earlier, name, right? Whatever we named. We could put this as you know whatever we wanted, uh, but we, we chose name. So we're gonna say save. We're gonna go back, and now when you refresh, here we go. All right, there I am. Cool, so now here, okay, this is inside of a paragraph tag. It's probably best to keep this as just text, right? So um, let me just go here. I'm gonna highlight this area. I'm just gonna go over it. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I haven't defined the editable field yet, but I can go ahead and write it in. Oh, and by the way, this is, um, a self-closing tag. So you're not gonna do something like this. It has to self-close. Again, it'll it'll give you an error if you try and do that, so don't worry about it, it'll correct you. So CMS show, and we're gonna call this um, simple bio, right? So again, we're classifying this as just normal text if we wanted this to be something where they would go on and on and write about themselves, like maybe in a blog post, like, does this link any? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's okay, we'll, we'll make that different. But if this, if this linked to a page and you're having lots of content here with lots of paragraphs and links, you know, especially like links linking outward, you're gonna want that editable field to be a rich text editable, not just a, a text editable. But since it's really just text here within the paragraph tag, we 
we could we could name it um we could have another text field here um but instead of text it's kind of long so it's probably better to do text area so again this is just just like with your html um, input forms um, you've got type of text type of text area uh, we've got password type um, and there are lots of other editables that we'll get to uh, but these are the basics so far text and text area so name uh, what did we call that we said simple bio and label is simple bio so there we go we got our space and our capitalized okay so we save that what we've done so far is we've we've got a name editable and a simple bio editable and we have gone down here and we've said show the name here and show the editable or i'm sorry no the simple bio here so i save that i go over here i press refresh and it's gone because we haven't added anything yet so um i'm a couch cms developer teaching people on youtube right now and i'm going to press save and then i'm going to go back over here and refresh and here we are oh isn't that cool okay cool so um we're on a first name basis here all right cool so your image we we need to change that too right so where's the image here's the image okay so here's our source so image we're gonna we're gonna show so same as before and uh we're gonna call it bio image right so we go up here and we can put this underneath again editable and we're going to name it bio image label is going to be bio image and the type here is going to be image now with image image does not show the preview of the image in the admin panel by default i don't like that so i'm going to explicitly say show the preview and I'm going to explicitly say preview height is going to be equal to 180. Um, that's typically what I do. Um, you can make that higher or lower or whatever, whatever makes you feel good. So we're going to refresh this. And <laughs> here we go. So uh, there's no image set yet. We've already defined it up here as an editable. We have we're showing it right now, which is nothing, right? So nothing is here, right? So I'm going to go back in here, and we've got our editable. We're going to browse the server, and what this is going to do is it's going to take us to a couch server. Uh, this is our file server uh, on the web server. So we're going to right-click on here, just like with your you know, file manager on your computer. Uh, we're going to make... Uh, folders, let's say photos. And uh, that's good enough for now. So we'll say upload. Um, I have some stock photos here. And uh, let me look up people or persons. No, profiles. And uh, that's not me, but we're going to say it is. And I'm going to save that. Okay, here we go. So we'll see how, how well this uh, template is designed because I did not do any dimensions. I think it might be a square image. So we may have made it easy on them. There I am, cool. Okay, so and again, you can go in here and change this as needed, you know, and it's gonna reflect right there. This is awesome. Okay, and uh, look at that. We've got our little powered by couch uh, CMS at the bottom. Excellent. Okay, so uh, that's the basics. Um, you've learned a few tags so far. You've learned uh, the template tag, which tells Couch, hey, this is what we're titling this tab. Uh, you can give it an icon if you want. 
we've learned the editable tag, which is essentially, it's like the database layer here. You are defining the, um, you're defining the editable fields, right? That are gonna be stored in the database. So in the database, there's a field called name and there's a field called simple bio. And in your admin panel, you're making this and this stuff is going to the database, right? That's, you're turning the static website into a dynamic website that you can update yourself. So we've learned editable, we've learned template, and we've learned uh, show, right? So uh, that that's it for now. This basic stuff can get you a long way uh, just on its own. Uh, but next time, uh, we're going to learn how to make uh, repeatable content on the site uh, and embed that using the couch tag embed, uh, CMS embed. And that'll let us do things like have um, the same header on every uh, page or the same footer. Uh, you know, the same same navigation here, for instance, this is probably going to need to be the same. So um, in the description below in this video, uh, I'm going to have links to the download page so you can download this template. Uh, I'll have links to Couch so you can go off to Couch land and learn about it. Uh, go to the documentation page um, and you know, freshen yourself up on on what Couch has to offer. <clears throat> uh, we're going to be taking it really slow uh, here and just kind of go piece by piece. Uh, that's the way I like to learn things. I just kind of like to dive in and, and oh, I've got a post here. How do I make that editable? You know, so we'll go in and do it step by step here. So you don't have to go, you know, to the Couch website, um, but... Um, if you feel intrigued uh, and you want to learn more about the tags, go there. They've got a tag uh, reference. They've got core concepts. Um, what? I should just show you the page. <laughs> so in documentation, they've got core concepts here under their documentation tab. Uh, this is going to go over like your big areas, like your what what is a template. You know, it's going to go over like what is a template. Uh, they've got things like PayPal built in, which is really awesome. Um, they even have a shopping cart. You know, they make a lot of this stuff very easy uh, for someone who doesn't know any uh, PHP, uh, which is great. So we'll leave it there for now. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time.